I like that 180. Yeah. We are live. Let's go. First map of this series. It is overpass. MIBR on the T side, Chaos on the CT side. And well, MIBR. Let's see if they're turned on this fine day. And do they have a pistol for us? Yeah, and Fallen has the one side of utility smoke, Molly. I, I would be surprised if they go B. Usually you have flashes when you go to the B side on a pistol round. It, it's kind of a, a weird setup they have going right now. Yes, sir. We're gonna go to three. Ooh, the oh, dink. that's a huge opening pick from Taco. That, yeah, yeah, hate to see it if you can. And now that's prompting the two players here to remain fixed on the B site for Chaos. It's a tough one. And it's going to be a split. Even a third rotating down. They are really expecting MIBR to wind up on this B site here, Chaos. But MIBR not committing to anything just yet. Bomb hanging around Connector, but they are taking their time clearing out restrooms. This is interesting. MIBR pushing back the A site right now, basically trying to force two people to play the A site, right? They know no one's aggressive, so they would have to assume the rotator came to A. And here's going to be the jump up smoke likely coming out of Fallen. Which I believe that might go truck. And he might run over and Molly back dice. And he might get shot in the face. Sick kicking it off. Instantly traded by KNG. So man advantage not from IPR going into the bomb plant. Ideal situation for them. They're looking good. It's that long rotation over here now from Chaos. And they have to wait for the smokes to clear. This is such a difficult situation now for Chaos. How do you even get in here considering MIBR are all spread out? I mean, I guess that is one thing, is that they can have a series of duels here considering how spread out MIBR are. KNG will get overwhelmed into a three-on-three. -three. We go. The thing to look out for here is no kit on the CT players, so they need to move fast. And eventually it is going to go their way. I mean, it's on voltage. He has to stick it, and they definitely will take the check. Fallen with two kills. And MIBR with a pistol on the T side of Overpass to kick things off. Very well done out of MIBR. Good spacing right there. Honestly made possible by Taco's entry right at the start of that round. Getting an entry on a pistol like this, forcing the players to, to fall into it. An unideal setup. They have one player at the A bomb site and sick. Did a good job to get that one opening pick, but it's just so difficult to retake and no kit. So now we're sitting at 1-0. MFBR had trouble with, with, you know, closing out Ecos in the past. So by no means is this a gimme for them. Flash in, and this is it. Opening, perhaps? Very high regression coming here from Chaos. They are on USPs. Vanity catches KNG out. Mairn not holding the angle and even managing to find a kill on Mairn. Turning into an expensive round here for MIBR. It is. It Steel shouldn't be able to get another frag here with this low HP. You can see, just staying alive for a little bit longer will likely require MIBR to use a little bit of utility, and that's kind of a win. So, if they use the smokes, that's the red bucks that they're not going to have for the next round. Yeah. So this is really nicely done here by Chaos. Get a fight. And so there's one of the smokes getting used on the A site. Man, they're so careful. They are. They are. They're not letting any of their, their rifles die to steel right now. They're just kind of prodding around, trying to find steel. They know the guns are safe. So they know any engagement they get in, they could likely you know, take cover and you know fall to, fall to one of their other teammates. So that's why they're sticking somewhat close in a pack of three. There is a Galil somewhere around here. Does steel find it? Or did they actually manage the guns appropriately in my RBR? Like chuck them up on... Uh on the little um, flower pots. Flower pots? It's not a flower pot, it's like a flower square. Whatever, the thing that tree is coming out of. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, my party. The wall? What? <laughs> where did they throw the guns? I'm sure MIBR threw them away. Yeah, he's square. dead. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that over here maybe, yeah. Could have been, could have been, whatever. The MIBR were wise, they kept an eye on it, and Steel. You can see Steel thinking, you know, 10 steps ahead in terms of, well, if I wrap all the way around, yeah. maybe I can get a gun. Maybe they were sloppy and they didn't uh, manage, but uh, not meant to be, and so he is going to have to spend some money this round. So here we have the first gun round coming out of Chaos, and they actually have an AWP on Voltage, who's the stand-in for Smuya. Smuya dominated MIBR when they met on LAN, you know. What was that, like a week ago? Mm. That was an insane Oops. game coming out of him. Well, that was unfortunate voltage. Just totally fluffed his smoke. And is this where we can see some nerves coming in from Chaos? You know, missing smokes, missing nades? 
I think so. When I went back and I rewatched that game between Chaos and MIBR, it looked like MIBR was the better strategic team. Chaos, you know, if I'm being honest, Smuya had a phenomenal series. That, so they're going to miss him if yeah. Voltage doesn't come up big here. Okay, <laughs> Yeah. The screaming. <laughs> <laughs> you you know that was definitely getting under MIBR's skin. I mean, come on. He was howling in here. Uh, it's a good early round setup coming out of Chaos. They blew open the door. They have Steel boosted. Basically, no one's coming up connector. That allows Voltage to play this aggressive situation, right? Because he knows no one's going to come up those connector stairs. Good full map communication coming out of Chaos here. And MIBR in the meantime. Taking over long, moving their way on up, getting more of that map control towards the A site. Yeah, I, it, Taco man, he just hears him stomping. Uh, I don't think Chaos would be ready for a long hit right now. This scares me. The rotator is still at the B bomb site, so Steel has opted to stack the B bomb site this round. Dude, Fur knows all of the angles for the right peak. That is so nasty. Cam takes Taco, so it is a trade. But that was on the B site. The action is going to be over here on A and. Once again, it's Vanity getting caught in the back. KNG, the hero, saves Fur. But that was so nasty from Fur. What an excellent read coming out of MIBR. I, I mean, this is their map pick, so we expect them to have some pocket strats here. But this three on three actually has now become possible for Chaos. I'm curious if they're going to go for this. I should be worried about getting shot in the back right now. Oh, the leg! Unreal! Two on two, they know where they're playing from now. Chaos going into the retake. Steel knows that if he can take that Fallen here, this is big! But Fallen wins the duel! Puts Sick in an impossible position. No saving it. They'll hold on to the AWP, and Fallen, unfortunately for him, can't find a Krieger or an M4, so somebody's gonna have to deal with that one. That's if they use it at all, just throw it away. Get rid of it. This is a rough spot Chaos finds himself in. They're, they're down 3-0. That might be ours map pick, sure. They're on CT side overpass right now, and you expect them to be able to put up quite a few rounds. Chaos, this used to be their best map, but we saw them in the qualifier struggle tremendously on this map. Mm -hmm. Fur, I mean, if Fur is going to have a strong start like this to the map, I mean, he is a key player, as you outlined, going into this. Guy to watch for MIBR on this map. And he does thrive in those confidence situations. I mean, he's got the experience. Major winner, there we go, Cam. Pops up. Taco finds the headshot, but you still have Vanity alive. Fallen gonna whiff the shot. And for now, it's still MIBR hanging around on the B side. Bomb is here with Fallen. Chaos has seen it as well, so the rotation's gonna come through, and now Vanity's managed to recover that M4. Yeah, and here we just have Fur kind of holding the flank, holding the opposite side of the map, while three players work up out a monster. And they're just trying to force a rotate. Now that Fur knows no one has rotated, he likely has, has an inkling the rest are all in the B-side right now. Oh. Uh, this is pretty much an eco coming through. Boom. Fur takes down Vanity. And that's Voltage. Last man alive. You can hold on to the M4. At least that's something you can work with. So we'll see if he can keep that one going. Fallen, making sure that the scope is, uh, you know, aligned. Another clean round coming out of MOBR. They're looking good. They're definitely looking a lot better. And I, I was, I'm was i very confident, actually, in picking them to win this series, which is shocking, given, you know, the fact that they lost the Chaos pretty handily a week ago. But like I said, when I watched the demo, they did a lot of things right. They got unlucky on so many key rounds. But, I mean, you kind of make your own luck as a CS player. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like saying teams get lucky but i think in a rematch at it's TNT. gonna yeah it's gonna be real close at best for chaos right now i think you know as we saw earlier the king rat the expose yeah you know that's the difference and i hope we see that between maps as well because it's so good yeah uh but that's the issue is that smuya is in here like you said he had a huge impact the first time around not only in the server but also with all the howling on the stage just getting in their heads trying to tilt mibr throw them off now we're online. MIBR are comfy back in their mansion over in OC or wherever they are. Real comfy. Real comfy. Chaos, you know, same could be said for them, except that they have a they have a stand-in. Smuya isn't there. Voltage is here, so it's not the full roster. I mean, Chaos kind of living up to their names, man. They can't really catch a break. It's just like, ah, eh, you know, we'll just wing it. You know, whichever player we have, we'll go with. You know, it's fine. Except that, uh, you know, against a confident MIBR, that's not going to cut it. Oof. 
And you can see MI Barrel's going straight at Chaos, despite them blowing up the, <laughs> the blue door time and time again. They just don't care. They're not showing that respect. That's, ooh, that's a nice opening find by Steel right there. That's sick. Sick work there from Steel for sure. Oh my god, Taco's about to get a double entry. This is an insane lurk. Doesn't realize that Toxic's open. Marin is there to take Cam, though. Three on three. Sick the hero. He's going to get taken down, but he kept it to a two on two. He kept it honest. And now we have Vanity on the long rotate. Other side coming in T-spawn. He's got a haul. But he's got room to work with. And now, I mean, he's got Voltage on the high ground, but Voltage is worried about getting pushed. There's a little bit of uncertainty here as to what MIBR are doing. Still some time to play with, and this is... A lot of this is going to be riding on Vanity. If he can take down Fallen here, this would be big. Yeah, Fallen has a lot to do. He's going to pivot and check this flank. Here it is. Three, two. That's the fight. Unreal that Fallen keeps winning these duels. The key one in the last round on this one. Well, the A1, right? One on one. So just a big round for them to win. And now Voltage, of course, has to save the AWP. 5-0 for MIBR on the T side of Overpass. They are looking good, John. Yeah, this, this is spiraling out of control for Chaos right now. It, they don't look like the same team as uh, when they had Sumi. And even, you know, in their game when they didn't have Sumi, they looked so... It, against Gen G when Voltage stood in. We were constantly praising him for his ability to, to find impact and find openings. He's having no success right now. There could be the other... There is that... Uh, what, third, fourth, fifth aspect? However many aspect. Uh, that Suya seems to be also a bit of like the spirit animal for the team. And you, every team's got one. You know, that guy who's gonna, you know, it's starting to go against you, but he's trying to rally the troops. He's trying to get them pumped up and ready to go. I oh, mean, dear. And there's some aggression from Fur. And he's just running with it. He knows if he finds an opera like that, there's no one, no one near to trade. Oh, buddy. And now, oh, man, if he turns around, he's so good. He knows it. He knows it. Fur with the triple. That is insane. The game sense on that man. To know that the third player was long A, knowing two people spawn, go towards the A site usually. Damn, that was nice. That was clean. So good. It's good to see Fur. It's good to see Fur in this kind of shape. Cam takes down KNG. KNG having a bit of a quiet game, but I mean, you know, Fallen and Fur are kind of sucking all the oxygen out of the room right now. I'm confused. Fur, Fur just killed all three players at A, two being the A players and one the rotator. Why did the bomb not just go plant at A? What, what and now he's done? given up A, so there could be somebody back on A. Oh man, this is this is definitely a mishap coming out of MIBR. They could have just pounced on this round. They made it way too complicated right now. They're selling a small fake to B, trying to get the rotate to go back to B. I like the mid game call there. In this scenario, you can see it with those smokes that allows Fur to now creep out into the A site. He's getting more and more ground, mm. and now they're finally going to bring the bomb back to A. Uh, they're clearing the restrooms out too. I mean, there's just so many angles that you have to worry about when you're moving your way in here. Now Fur, oh, he turns away. Unfortunate. 15 seconds on the clock. There's the Molly fallen, forced into the open. He's to hit a shot. Oh my God, he survives, but not for long. 1v2 and Taco's miles away. They're not Gone? sticking it they yet. They didn't stick because now they have the kit and Cam there is going to be able to defuse this. There's not a thing that Taco can do. And so that's the first round on the board for Chaos. And what a round it is going. I mean, that's that, ta you know, talking about 180s. That. That's us going, you know, okay, this is the round of the bag off the play from yeah. this guy to uh, what happened in my BR. I, I have no idea. First, first single handedly won that round with that triple kill. There is no reason why MIBR should be losing that round. I have no idea why the bomb just didn't go A right away. There's no possibility that the rotate could have come in at that point. Silly play coming out of MIBR there. Well, hopefully that doesn't slow them too much. Uh, slow them too much. Want to see more of the aggression. Want to see more fights from them. They are supposed to be the team with the confidence going into this match. But Fallen losing the opening duel to Cam. You start peeking into CTs with Kriegs, you're going to have a rough time. Exactly. That Krieg peeking monster as a CT, it's so powerful. Cam takes that, that advantage he has when he picks up the Krieg, gets the opening pick on Fallen. It's kind of lucky Fallen wasn't opping there. Well, you know, just listen to Device, right? Even even if he was opping, it's still, <laughs> still the Krieg favor. Look at that. Look at that. And now you have a two-man advantage for Chaos and an opportunity for Chaos to start getting some momentum to go their way.
Drops in the hands of Holders, but he is chilling. Mayern catches Cam peeking. And there's cool. Mayern just opening it up. And do they expect the third on short? It's looking like they do. Sick was flashed as well, and that actually saved him. They have no idea that he's here right now. He can catch him with their pants down. Sure enough, drops the bomb. That's Mayern out, and a man advantage now for Chaos. Just far going tip to tat, though. This is all over the place. Way too close around. Two on two. There's Taco finding it in voltage now. He knows that he's close, and it seems like he's getting the call that Taco's lit. And he could just catch Taco out right here. Hits the Ooh. shot, but that was dicey. That's dicey, but now Fur is left with, you know, only seven HP. He's coming from short, behind a smoke. Voltage knows he's low, clearly has the USP out. This is, this seems unwinnable for Fur. Uh, off angle here, hits it. Voltage with the clutch. Unbelievable, this is getting just, well, you would think that that was it, that Chaos had the round. Really, do you, I mean, it's almost as if they just, they're just trying to make it happen with a name like this, Chaos. Yeah, that was a very messy round. It was, it was <laughs> super hard to follow once once it entered the B-bomb site, and a lot of, you know, uh, misplaced flashes, I would say. Mm -hmm. The one that blinded Sick and Mayern as Mayern was clearing the angle. And it almost, and it actually yeah. works to their advantage. Yeah. Sick gets a kill off of that. It's crazy. That might be ours. Still has enough to, to force up a buy here. They're going to spread the map. Two players outside of B on a default, that's, that's kind of interesting. Oh, oh. interesting. That, yeah, Vanity was just caught looking into the wall. I guess he expected a teammate to have his back. Maybe some miscommunication there between him and Voltage. I love this new look from MIBR where Taco is getting the entry at A. I mean, in the past we saw him go B a lot, right? So him getting the entry at A as an in-game leader, that would tell me, you know, he's the lurker. Don't really look too much into that. But actually that's where the hit is. The hit is coming through A. So that's a bit deceiving. Sick. This looks like a one-and-done angle for a FAMAS. Ooh, the spacing is poor. <laughs> Still make up for it, though. Mayern just hitting headshots right now. The young gun. Seven frags to his name. And now MIBR, man advantage. And uh, not the best buy here. Cam and Steel kind of squeaking by. They don't have any nades to work with. And Voltage sporting the only kit on the map. Yeah, and they're going, they're picking the right side here. MIBR is now rolling back to B. They they know that the rotate probably came into A. I love the seesaw coming out of them right now. Switching sides left and right. Mm -hmm. Just keeping guessing. Let Chaos get too comfortable in their reads. And now MIBR are going to be moving in here. Voltage again. He's just going to get really familiar with Long. He's going to go and sit under <laughs> those trees. You know, just do, a, you know, take a little nap. Hold on to that AWP. I mean, he's got a moose as his logo, right? Because I think he plays for Triumph. Mm -hmm. Does look like a good habitat for a moose. Lots of trees, lots, lots, of, lots of, of leafy greens. Yeah. Maybe some apples around, you know? Yeah. Eat those, get drunk. There's a picnic down there on the ground. Apparently it happens in Sweden a lot. Some bread. The moose, they just come in, eat the apples off the trees, get drunk. Do they? Yeah. Damn. Moose. <laughs> Be mad. Moose came to my huge. apple. Dude, they're huge. They will <laughs> kill you, dude. Do not mess with moose. And oh, that's Kanji dead. So, easy peasy. MIBR though, six rounds now, they've got it. And that is gonna be Chaos in a bit of a dark spot. And to be frank, I'd kind of want to see Chaos just go all over a timeout. Either this round or the next round, but uh, don't let MIBR just run away with this first half. Try and put the brakes on at some point. Yeah, they're, ha they're having to make a hard decision right now whether they should buy or save. Looks like they're gonna opt to save, have, an app have a complete buy next round. Ooh. Some buying problems also happen on MIBR right now. What happened here? Okay then. <laughs> oh, they got it done in the end. Voltage though. Because of all this, he was able to get in position, took a pot shot over at Monster, wanted to hit that duel and he just barely missed out on it. Taco survives. But more importantly, they now know where the AWP is. Mm -hmm. So you see Taco faking that B presence, throwing a flash. Now Chaos is guessing whether there's a guy in you know, the water, the short B position. So. Taco's done his job. He's now going to regroup with the team. I like this. MIBR keeping it simple, getting away from the AWP. You know the AWP can't be aggressive at A because he was already aggressive at B. So even if he did rotate, he's pretty far away. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, you're going around just getting more control. Connector now open for business here from MIBR. They're going to move into restrooms next. Steel is holding long. There has been some action over there, and so he's hoping to put that AK to good use. Yeah, still's in a super aggressive spot right now on top of this planner. Going up against the Krieg, man. Going up against the Krieg. Turns out he was not made of steel. 
It's a tough one, man. It's a tough one. Then they are going to swarm the A site now. MIBR just taking over. Smokes and Molly's going down. Smoke blocking off the CTs as well. Voltage shouldn't even approach the site. He's going to be chilling out over on that B site. So he gets to see that part of the real estate this time. And uh, the rest of his team going to hope for some lucky pot shots here. KMG going to catch sick looking the wrong way, unfortunately for him. But, man, MIBR right now, they're, they're making good reads, Sean. They're looking good. Are they back? Are they back? We're talking about chaos of the stand-in online. Uh, do you want to stake your reputation on that one? <laughs> Me and the Brazilian Rebellion. Yes. Get behind MIBR fully. They're back. <laughs> I just <laughs> next meme. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> uh, dude, they, I mean, they're looking really good in this map, and so this is the phase final as well. So, Mucho points on the line right now. 75 points to the winner. And it matters. The, the teams, after phase one and two, with the most points, they will go into the playoffs and get a chance at that million bucks. A lot on the line. And so, you really do want to be getting that first seed at the end of this phase. Yeah, this, this would, point matters. This would be huge for Chaos, mm. right? I, I think MIBR will m kind of sneak their way in playoffs no matter what, right? I think... I can't see them bombing out of the next phase. Okay. Whereas Chaos, they could easily bomb out. Getting first place would be huge for them. Yeah. I mean, you got to give it to them. Even getting second place. Yeah. We've had a lot of the those stories. I mean, here. Havu in the first one, in the first match of the day, you know, they're second. They're getting more points. Orglis, same thing. Took second. Got a lot of points. I mean, um, right now in Flashpoint, there are teams that are just punching. They're punching pretty hard. They're catching them. Orgs off guard. They are. The shirtless boys. The shirtless boys, yeah. No jerseys. Not Tarek. No shirts. <laughs> but it's all right. You can just go and just chat and dance. I love this out of MIBR. They're forcing utility out of these B players, making them really uncomfortable. Seesawing back to A now for a default. You can see Mayer now taking control along. That's a huge pick from Voltage. I, I, I want to say it might be the first one he's found all game. His first opening pick. Can he, he actually really rough get time. out, though? He might get stuck. And Vanity dies. But he knows. Wait, Fur knows that that voltage has to be around this area. So he's hunting but he's right now. he's ignoring him. Fur's looking for the rotate kill, just like he did last time. Get out of here. Cam takes KNG. This is getting dicey. Fur could be the man to open this all up. Taco rotating back. He knows the bomb is over in playground. And Fur, does he catch steal? This is all down to timing. Oh, my God. Spotted. Dude, Fur's an entry lurker. This is crazy. Oh, there's the shot! Fall, it doesn't hit it, but he catches the rotation. Cam goes down. Man advantage now for MIBR. This is all over the place. What's going on? I don't even know anymore. Oh, the taco no. runs in! Seven seconds left. They ran out of time. Oh, no. Fur does it again. What more can he do? <laughs> what is this? Next meme. I can't, Move I, on. I can't even believe that Fur di has done this twice now, where he gets a frag in A, and he runs up to the site, kills the rotator. The rotator coming to the A site. He beats him there, and they still lose this round. Wow, that has to, be, that has to actually be really disheartening for Fur. Keep in mind, twice now. Chaos are sitting on three rounds right now. Twice of those gifted by MIBR, essentially. Two of them. Yeah. I might be are going to change up the pace here probably a little bit. Three people heading over to the B-bomb site. See the bomb over there as well. Okay. Taco oh, the point. triple nade coming in. Let's see it. Nothing. Nada, but hey, they're trying to force him back. Man, Taco just goes straight in. Man, and Toxic can't even kill him. But there's still Vanity in connector. Do they spot the man? Unbelievable. They're managing to get out of these positions here on the side of Chaos. And now it seems like Fur's lurk roll is activated, but Vanity getting super aggressive at A. I think Fur could catch him off. So Ooh. patient. Oh, but he could still catch him off. There it is. And now he's gonna run right into the side again. <laughs> what is going on? He's gonna catch him too. There it is. Shut Unbelievable. The front door. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, this is Fur's map, okay? Pretty much whatever happens after this, Fur is just... That's unbelievable. Dude, Fur's been in the A site more than the CT. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> what are we looking at here? Hey, KNZ's... He's just waiting connector. If they were to rotate through connector, that would have been real nasty for Chaos. But that's the unfortunate thing for Chaos, is that they are still so low on money. 
Yeah, it, it, it's really unfortunate because they had a good opening into this round. They had some some good aggressions, but this the way that Fur's lurking into the A site and just rolling with it, they don't have a solution for that right now. I, well, one, what what is your solution at that point? All right, so like hypothetically, obviously, uh, like what would you what would be your solution to address the fact that your A site defense is getting bopped early and your yeah. rotator is getting bopped too? Well, they're not playing for info is the problem. Chaos is okay. playing for fights. So when Kurt okay. when Kurt gets like Vanity was pushed up to Fountain, got the fight, and he stayed around. He stayed. He's not playing for info anymore. He's playing for fights. Mm -hmm. And when Fur takes him out, he knows he can beat the rotator. It's just you know standard Counter Strike because this guy is so aggressive. Typically, people in that position at top on top teams don't die. They fall back to the site. They use utility to you know smoke off sands, and then they jump spot from the site or play back by the van with one player and one player plays you know the bathroom area. Mm -hmm. He's he's committing for way too long. So a bit of restraint, perhaps. But we shall see now as Chaos, well, three rounds on the board for Chaos, and it's a round of eco for them. They ha they saved the two guns. Voltas has got a scout, so he feels special. But MIVR are fully equipped, and KNG catches Voltage already. Once again, opening the sides, the rotator gets caught as well. That's Vanity picked in the restrooms. It's sick putting the Krieg to use, but uh, that's just, I mean, the bomb site is already under control here for MIVR. I wouldn't say it's unwinnable for Chaos right now, but MIBR would, would definitely have to make a mistake. And that that's pretty much the nail in the coffin. KNG pushes into spawn, finds Cam. Sick is going to need to you know, do some miracles. Whoa. Yeah, that's brutal. And now Steel. I mean, what, what are you doing if you're Steel? You're over here on the B site. I guess uh, still waiting for the lurk. Somebody was over here possibly, and so you know, he's kind of hoping. He asked Prius to spec him. I don't think this is what he had in mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he'll he'll live though, which is uh, I mean at least it's that. Yeah, it's just it's just a map loss. He'll live through it. Nine. Just kidding. I'm not I'm not you're not predicting it that far ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Nine to three, and it's still no timeout called by Chaos. This is a round that they could call the timeout on. Would love to see it. Big buy round, AUG, double AWP, full nades, everything is here. See, it, it almost seems like Chaos doesn't recognize that the problem is them playing too aggressive. It's like, guys, they're killing us at A. We gotta get more aggressive. <laughs> if we just hit our shots. Yeah, they're fighting fire by throwing gasoline on it. If we just hit our shots, it would be fine. Oh, I'm so scared for these A players. Okay, never mind. They're gonna continue through B. Ooh, oh. more nades. Big spray, though. That is brutal. Right through, and that's Steel taking down Taco. There you go, Steel. It's a nice let's, opening. Let's obs him. Let's obs him. Oh, but he's, is he going to peek in a monster or not? No, the man is going aggressive. He's looking. Get somebody out in the stores. Kanji lurking out a monster. Oh, dear. He's going to find Cam. Sure enough. Oh. It's just whether he gets the double kill. Oh, but he has no idea that Steel is there. Oh, oh no. Why'd you do it, Prius? Why'd you observe him? All right, there we go. That makes up for it. Prius is merciless, man. And Fallen is here, just looking for the shot. He's 1v3, and it's not going to be for long. Chaos looking to end it. And there it is. Fourth round on the board for Chaos. And Steel manages to pick up two kills. Two kills. A lot of impact coming out that AWP, but now MIBR knows there's two AWPs in play. So I'm curious how MIBR is going to approach this round. Pretty much all of the rounds so far, they've done variations of defaults where they're seesawing across the maps. We haven't really seen them go straight into an exec yet. They could do that on this round against the double AWPs. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of curious what Fallen's approach is going to be here. Perfect. All right, and then block on the monster. And... Right now, I mean, super defensive play coming in from MIBR. It seems like that's how they want to handle this. Trying to figure out where that AWP is aggressive over at the A site. They know every time they go A, you know, the AWP is somewhere by the bathrooms or above, and another opening pick by Fur. Unbelievable. And that's Steel going down. One of the AWPs gone in connector. It's, it's crazy. And what Fur is doing right now is so smart. So every round, Chaos blows open the door, which puts a lot of pressure on the connector player, right? That's why you're seeing Fur play really passive in the connector some of these rounds, because the door is blown open. And people can jump spot, see it boost in. So he's smoking it off. That's not info. Oh, 
there's the double. Cam with the double! Not gonna get the triple though, Fallen is there. And Fur catches the rotate, goodbye Vanity. Just Voltage left alone, and Voltage has gotten a whole lot of time to just, you know, ponder life. What's he doing as a, you know, how's it working out for him as a substitute? He's not dying a lot. No, he's not dying a lot, but his team is losing a lot. I mean, what do you think he's just like, guys, you know, this, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad you asked me to say name, but it's just not working. This is uh, it's, it's not, I, I it's not working out for a beating. It's not working out for me. Steel. Fur has had a phenomenal game, right? <laughs> like, this is the impact he's had in a lurk role. I, we're so used to seeing Fur be the entry and part of the pack. MIBR has switched things up lately, and now he's doing this lurk style, and he, his game sense, it's like he's been doing this his whole life. Well, that's double digits going into the last round of the first half here for MIBR on the T side of Overpass. Now, oh, looking very good indeed. And, well, you know, there, there are spurts. There's uh, moments of greatness here from Chaos. Nice doubles, but uh, right now, MIBR just looking dominant, and it's, it's a tough one. It is. Chaos can't string anything together right now. All their buys look hobbled. They don't ever have full utility. They're going to try sending three people over to A. It's a good read because MIBR has hit the A side a lot. Mm -hmm. It's double in connector as well. Oh, clever. But the smoke goes down. And now Fur is just going to block him off. Get out of here. And now he's giving word to his team. You know, it's, people are in the connector. He heard the guy run away. Good bait coming out of Chaos. Fur will never see this coming. Oh, but Sick is impatient. He's done it again. He's got behind enemy oh. lines somewhere. He's about to kill this offer and run into the A site. Does this really happen? No oh, way. No way. God. He can walk back in here and spot him. No way. Okay, there. Finally, the raid boss is dead. Sick going to collect that loot, but oh, he is not going to be around for long. KNG takes the headshot. 4v4 now. But that is just the clench moment where you're just sitting there. Is Does it really work out where everything works for Fur? That was definitely the clench moment. And they know Six a B player. So now they know two people are at the B site, two people are at the A site. They're regrouping around B. They don't have tons of utility. But this flash is going to help them entry out of sandbags. Steal with the headshot. Three on three. And now it's Taco getting taken out. The bomb gets denied, and Chaos showing some fight here at the end. Steal with a double. And a little bit of a chat going on. I like this one, though. You know, Fur even getting some yeah. getting some name games in there. You know, yeah. He was asking Sick, you know, were you hiding in the stairs? And Sick was like, no, I was hiding in the smoke. He's like, do you walk past the smoke? Fur's like, Fur's like yeah. Sick play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glad to see Good that they've, uh, they've got a, yeah, exactly, a great half for a bit of a sense of humor there as well, especially if you're the confident, you know, dominant team, favorite team, should be how you're playing, and we're seeing, you know, just a great performance from Fur, so it's a bit of a feel-good moment. Yeah. But uh, we're going to take a quick a break. Lot. Yes, the pistol's going to be important. We're going to see what Chaos are capable of right after this. Wow. 
Welcome back from the break, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to get into the second half now of MIBR and Chaos. MIBR, double digits on the T side, looking healthy, yeah. looking hale. Sean, we were talking a little bit about it during the break. It's a bit, it's a, it's a difficult one to, to get a grip on just because it's a bit chaotic. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> it's definitely been a very chaotic game. Fights left and right across the entire map. Trading is a little bit off. I would say that was that was a lot to do with Chaos's individual aggressions, though. Mm -hmm. This this we should see it slow down. Will Fur continue his dominance? Yes, he will. Oh, well, at least they trade it. But uh, Mayaren is now around. And two at long push and aggressively. Mayaren finds another headshot. He's been doing good work as well. He's got the bomb, too. And this is Cam. He does get a nice flank on Taco, but Mayaren continues to roast him. Another headshot. Yeah, this is just MIBR establishing dominance. 11 5 the score. MIBR picking up the pistol. I'm not going to lie, when, when Mayern started whiffing the, the first couple shots and the bomb got yeah. away, You're like, I, thought, I thought they were just going to swarm the site and MIBR would be out of position. But they came back for the fight. They played with fire and they got burnt. Is this, yeah, that's the thing where you feel just a little bit too much. Yeah. Like, oh, we got to take this, boys. That's what I'm saying. I feel like Chaos is a little bit too confident and eager to take fights so far in this match. That worries me because the next map's Inferno and you have to be a utility-based team if you want to succeed on the map. Especially given MIBR's struggles on the map. It is uh, Inferno. This is Overpass. This is MIBR's pick. It's worth pointing out. Inferno's going to be Chaos's map. But for now, at least, it is MIVR fully bought up and Chaos with no bomb plant. They did go for the force, but it's a Deagle force. They did go for the force. It looks like they're spreading out towards the A site. They have a lot of smokes right now. They have three smokes on the T side, so could see a full A exec coming in. But you shouldn't expect to be able to get that far in an eco. And the reason being is because people like Fur. Look at him up in the bathrooms right now. You think I care? He kills one of these smokes. Things just start falling apart. You think I care? He's going to push, isn't he? <laughs> Dude, Fur is just going to be insanely annoying. Yep. This, the A hit's coming in. He hears the steps. That's one of the smokes. <laughs> there oh, it is. Dear. Now, they're, they just used the, the second smoke. They have one more left. And Fur's not stopping. No, he's not. He's repositioned. The hit's going to come through long, though, and this, this smoke at the end of long A helps a lot. They'll be able to creep up to the very corner. They have one flash in six hands. But he's over at Sands, actually. They, they won't even be able to use his flash. Oh, sick. He hears him. Fur is close enough to hear it, and Sick is going to go down. There's Taco holding the line at long. Two kills for him. Looking for a third. Steal. Last man alive. Drive by Fur. Get out. There's the headshot, MP9 money as well, so he is just going to be filthy rich. This is clinical. Yeah, this it's just is, looking real good. It's not... I, I don't have a lot of faith right now in Chaos when I'm watching them on this overpass game. I don't know if... <laughs> we, we saw a message that they sent to Prius, so they expected the overpass pick. Mm -hmm. They did. They expected the overpass pick coming. But it doesn't look like it. They don't look prepared right now. It's just uh, when you're getting stomped on, it's a, it's a tough one. Feel like nothing's breaking your way. Well, now we're just trying to play. Look at this, like very patiently. Nice little flash setup, hoping uh, to catch some aggression from MIBR. And just insanely frustrating. This is where MIBR are like, you know what? Actually, we're just gonna kind of like hang back. Oh my God, Fur's gonna destroy them. <laughs> what? Oh, he messed up this. If he got that dig. There we go. KNG cleaning up on the other side. Quad kill for KNG. Couple of those with an MP9. More money in his pocket, always a good thing. And so, dude, they're I'm all fine. showing up. I'm fine with that. They're all showing up right now. Yeah. Fallen started the game, what, like eight and zero. Mm -hmm. Fur now carrying through the game. KNG showing up. Mayern with the pistol. Taco's obviously, you know, the lurker on the other end of the map. He's kind of shit positions, if I'm being honest. So you'll never see him really top rag, unless they're losing. You never want to see Taco top rag if you're an MIBR fan. That's exactly it, where it's, uh, you know, things are going wrong. Yeah. 
Taco's at the top, it's gone wrong. And that's not a slight on Taco, that's the other thing. Oh. Tough break there, didn't quite catch. Vanity! So much damage. So the story for the rest of this game is Vanity. Can Chaos have a functional default that can push Fallen off of the bathrooms and stop her from annoying the hell out of them? The answer is going to be no. <laughs> right. Just a dry peek right into Fallen. <laughs> uh, well, th thank you. That was concise. Yep. That was good. We didn't have to wait for long. We didn't have to wait long at all. <laughs> <laughs> and that is Chaos now. Just going to get picked. Ah, going through the smoke. Takes Vanity. You can look at the Chaos guys now. They have three people deep in it. They're not even close to the A bomb site. 55 seconds Guess left. Guess who? Oh my Guess God. who? Knife him. Just, just dude, knife him. Dude, do it. For, yeah. yeah, look. Dude, that knife is sexy. It's a different knife this hour. Unbelievable. And Steve walks back in. This is the shot. Okay. Fur is mortal after all. But KNG wins that duel. And that is now Cam. 30 seconds on the clock. Bomb dropped. They might be out of control of it, and he's in a 1v3 now. Takes down Mayern. He's not expecting Fallen at bank, though, and so not expecting Fallen at bank. Dude, <laughs> doesn't know Fallen. But uh, <laughs> there we go. I feel like Fur is just always behind people this game. He's always surprising people. Half of his kills are just from unaware people. This is, it's incredible. It, it actually reminds me of playing Fur back in the day. Fur and Phelps, actually, before Phelps joined this core, when he was on Immortal, or, no, what was the what was the other team back then? It was actually it was, it was, a, it was, it was Immortals. Yeah, it was Immortals back then. Yeah, yeah. Phelps would do exactly what Fur's doing. Actually, this is his exact playstyle. Right, I'm just gonna one up you so we can feel extra old. Feels like I'm watching Get Right back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> I remember back in my day. Back in my day, Get Right. The joke was that everybody else was playing checkers and he was playing 4D chess. <laughs> he could control a spray like no one can today. <laughs> Let me tell you. Axe pretty good, man. That's where I was from, man. Those are my people. Get out. Me and Trace Thonosaranthus. Where are you born? Louisiana. Born in Dallas. <laughs> oh, there we go. A couple okay, okay. Southern boys here in Los Angeles. Oh, boy. Let's have a crawfish okay. boy down there. Well, chaos. <laughs> Down a man, but they are not down and out just yet. They are showing some fight. 14 to 5, and MIBR set up on the B site. They've got the crossfire, and now it's on Chaos to crack it. Oh, that Molly from Taco is going to force them out. Oh, what a shot from Taco! Damn, that is brutal for Chaos. I actually think they had the advantage, too. They would have probably caught Taco off had they gone maybe two seconds earlier. KNG was low, they would have traded out the kill. Damn, what what a perfect Molotov from Taco. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing is going chaos Dude, nothing, way. Exactly. Nothing. They're, they're currently just stuck eating their own tail. Just Ah, ah yeah. their logo. They're stuck. <laughs> they're stuck. You get it? Hey, yeah, yeah, it's stuck. That might be our map point. And it, yeah, it's just been, and, and keep in mind, two of these rounds are basically gifted by MIBR as well to Chaos. Could have been even more one-sided. So um, it's all over the place right now. Bit of the aggression. Prius getting fancy over there, but uh, not much damage dealt. Fur again playing super aggressive in the connector. He's going to have a one-on-one -on -one coming up against Sick. Is this where they really just stop giving any respect at all? I mean, Fur has got this is all thought out. Because, yeah. Oh, oh, that's not supposed to happen. Sick hits that headshot. That is sick. Kanji now has to worry about his flank. That was the thing. Fur was supposed to watch connector so that KNG could catch the mana monster, and now it means the vanity got out of there scot-free. Fallen is one of the best players in the world at doing exactly what he's doing. Staying scoped in around this locker's position and just, you know, pivoting between long and bathrooms and back and forth. And he has so much success over the years doing exactly this, but he's going to get caught here. Dude, why, we've talked about this, Sean. Time and yes. again. Yes. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't say it. I should not have said anything. Because just the fact after that, the fact. Not before it. It's okay. We'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it at some point. Maybe oh, not this match. Not this one. Days two. Days two. <laughs> Chaos, though. They're fighting. They're fighting right now. Two-man advantage. Bomb planted. Looking good. MIBR are filthy rich. And so they have money for days they'll be able to buy no matter what happens. So these two players could look to try and do some economic damage. Sure enough, there's Taco finding a nice headshot on Vanity. They could do some economic damage to Chaos. 
I mean, it is also about saving this Krieg. Now you really want to save this Krieg. Mayron can go and do whatever he wants, but uh, Taco, stay alive with this Krieg. Oof. I, I was going to get really excited for Chaos, but the thing that you have to pay attention to is, like you said, the money is there for MIBR, and Chaos is going to have to do a couple more before that money is gone, and when it is gone, they're going to have max money bonus. This is the worst case scenario <laughs> when you're down like this. I mean, it's going to take so much, so many gun rounds for Chaos to get this to OT. It's not like the old days, you know, where you just have that hard eco, you get a couple ecos, you grind them back, the team wins one round, you reset them. That's not, that can't happen. We're at 15 6. Steel forgot a gun. There we go. Map point. Ooh, flashes all over the place. Mayor came around the corner a bit early there. It's a bit sloppy. Got punished. Well, let's see, Fallen. This time around, he's just trusting his angle as well, man. No fear from this man. No fear at all. And he's got the read to boot. This is the shot. It's voltage taking Taco. And they're just getting picked. KNG alive. Hits the follow up, but he stands up into a bullet's path. Vanity finds him. And it's fur alone. It's it's near unwinnable for fur too, because Vanity had so much ground on that B site. Does he go into... They have to know that he's here as well. So it's... I mean, at this point, what? Do you go and just save Fallen's op? You know that Fallen died up around the party. With the game that Furs had, they have no idea where he is. They're they're terrified that he's behind. Every one of them is like, you, you watch it short? You watch it long? Okay. Oh, man, I shouldn't have watched, watched The Invisible Man last night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're actually looking everywhere but where he is. <laughs> this is actually unreal. Wait, hold on. No. Yeah, they're, they're expecting him through CT. And there it is, Vanity. He'll find it. Takes the time, too. Doesn't rush it. 69, gang. It's now 15 to 7. They might be are still on map point and not quite. They could go for a force buy here if they wanted to. Yeah, if I were MO bar, yeah, I would force buy as well. Try to get as many gun rounds as possible. And this one won't even be a bad one. Mm -hmm. You can see double op for the MP9. It's pretty much like... Him having a rifle, he has, he's so good with that gun. This is a start for Chaos, this is a start. If they win this round, they can get Nico. This is not how MIBR want this to go, because now it means Chaos is trying to get some confidence, as you say. Then they're going into their map pick on Inferno, not a map that you're super happy about. Ooh, there's going to be an off posted. Oh, no. Oh, actually, oh, he knows. He knows he's got all the info now. Both oh, are A. Sick play here from Voltage. And wow. Taco, man, bold plays. Wow. Dude, Taco showing that he can frag when he needs to. 4v4. Oh, but this is big from Vanity. Already through, and he misses the shot. Taco not going to be in position. They've taken Fur out of the picture. MIBR's just giving up these opening kills, and it's costing them. It's okay. They, they can be a little bit aggressive in these early rounds. I would expect them to buckle down if... Chaos gets any closer, but oh, damn, that's such a good position to play. You can see the shadow on the, on the ground as well. That's going to make things way harder this round. This could be the end. Oh. Taco, he does get laid low. There it is, though. Fallen on the site. Back <laughs> off. Unreal. And now it's just the guessing game. 38 seconds. Vanity 1v2. Kanji rotating quickly. Trying to back his mate up. There's the flash. Fallen takes advantage of it. Now this is it. He is in position, and he is going to be stuck here. Vanity. SKNG has now got the high ground. Wow. Done. MIBR picking up the first map of the series. 16-7. So clean. Dude, so clean. They all showed up that game. Mm -hmm. And they looked good. They looked really prepared for this game. Maybe it's because, you know, Sui had that, that trash talk the first time around. Like, fuck this guy. This ain't happening again. <laughs> Gotta take the team out. He's yeah. not here. Yeah, he's not here. But we'll beat his team anyway. Bury him. Bury him. So yeah. there we go. When we come back, we'll be getting into the second map of the series, guys. It's going to be on Inferno, and it is actually nah, its actually it's going to be pretty sick because it is uh, MIBR's nemesis. But it actually looks like we're going to get the, cast, the analysts over here. So you'll hear what they have to say first.